Hello, welcome to my garden. Today we're going to do a uh, bit of a video on artichokes. A lot of people are growing artichokes, a lot of people don't know how to prepare them. So, this is some pre prepared artichoke plants. I've got one here that's uh, probably all right. A lot of them, this is the end of season uh, for my property here. So, as you can see, there's a lot of the artichokes here that um, when I was away have uh, come out. This one's going to turn into the most beautiful flower that the bees are going to get drunk on. This one here, that'll probably be alright. So I'm going to cut it back a couple of inches from below the bottom of the flower. One there. Probably not much else here. I have got some that I cut earlier this morning. Um, so those are the ones that will be our subjects today. Okay. You can actually eat to probably down an inch, maybe a little bit more, depending on the on the plant itself. You uh, eat down to here, so be a bit generous when you cut it off. Um, as I said, this one is okay. The plant hasn't started to really open up, but if we come into here, the centre of the plant started to open up here, which means that the all the insides of the flower are all starting to happen, and this will turn into a flower, probably this big, big purple thing, and there'll be 20 or 30 bees at any one time on it. These are cute little ones, you won't get much out of them, but I'll cut a couple of them off, off anyway, and um, we'll throw those in the pot. Some I won't bother too much about. This one's definitely too far open. Um, this one, maybe. I'll cut this one off anyway. I'll cut this one off anyway, and, uh, and I'll show you when I cut it open why it's too far. So all these plants here are all um, reseed. When I pulled my big plants down from last year and I dragged them all out, I suddenly found that I had 30 or 40 maybe plants growing in this area. Um, so this is the first season, good crop off them as you can see, the ones we've already eaten, plus all these ones. Okay, we'll start on this one that's too far gone first. Um, and we'll uh, cut it open and show you basically why and the difference. So we'll just get rid of some of these outside leaves. When we're cutting here, we're going to cut sort of all of these top leaves off and maybe a little bit down around the bulb itself. Get yourself a sharp knife or a serrated knife because it's... Uh, they're fairly tough. Righto. You can start to see the purple coming out of the flower now. It's going to be quite a magnificent flower. I'll cut her open this way. And if we zoom in a bit. This is the actual choke part in here. And you can see that most of the plant is now taken up with the choke so when we get into these other ones we'll cut those out but right now i'm just showing you why this one's too far gone so the rest of the plant now is all gone woody as i said that beautiful purple color that you may or may not be able to see there will turn into quite a magnificent flower um, and as i said if you've got bees in your area that'll certainly attract them they absolutely love them Okay, here's one I cut off before. I'm just going to cut a little bit more off the stem because it started to go brown. Um, we'll pull off a couple of these leaves. Pull them right back. I think the last time I probably pulled off too many leaves and lost a fair bit of fruity stuff. Oops. Righto, we do our cut. Okay, so I've cut the stem off here and I've cut off a bit around here. A bit of lemon here, just squirt it on, wipe it all on. That just stops it browning like you'll do with um, apple and stuff like that. In the pot here, I've got a steamer base. So it's basically just my pot here. And uh, I'm going to put water up to the bottom of that. I'm going to face all these down this way, face down thusly, and um, when we start our steaming, obviously the steam will come up and do all the inside of the plant.
beautiful morning out here in the garden and I hope you're all preparing yourselves for your garden needs. Righto, so here's all the rubbish. There's a um, dozen or so, dozen and a bit in there. Um, now obviously we'll take it inside, we'll put some water up to the bottom of that steamer tray and uh, we'll steam it for 20 odd minutes. So, so here we've got um, the artichokes obviously getting ready to steam there. The reason why I'm using a pot this big is one we've been using all season and normally we'll have them piled right up pretty well right to the top here. We've done quite a few of them this season, we've had a good crop. Um, and we'll boil them, we'll steam them for maybe 20 odd minutes and then we'll cool them, let them cool right down before we start on the next process. Righto, these have been cooking for uh, about 25 minutes as you can see, we've done most of them already so I'm going to take the chokes out of these. We just left them cool down enough for us to handle. So, take the top off, obviously that's a little bit icky. Cut us straight down the middle here, straight down through the guts of the flour, separate it and then you can see the actual choke there that we're speaking about. So Sorry. first, all this here, that's actually the end part of the flour and that will literally choke you. Maybe that's why it's called artichoke, I don't know. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take all this hard stuff off here and access the edible part of the stem. So just get your knife in, free that away from the bottom of the flour and it'll all pretty well peel off. What peels off generally is what's not too edible. So you want to scrape some of this stuff off. Some of you won't bother about it, um, but it's basically, it'll just taste like grass if you don't. So, this fella, peel it all off, scrape a bit of the softer stuff off, we're a bit of mucking around but they are a delicacy and um, once you prepare them they're lovely okay with the choke what we're going to do here we're going to get our spoon maybe a teaspoon would have been better but right down here at the base of all that you can see there's a good little delineation line there just push your spoon down push it in deep it'll kind of follow around the, the petals and everything that's in there and then poke that out. It should pretty well all come out. You want all that little hairy stuff out because it'll be quite icky once it gets in amongst your teeth. So, and there we have there, nice clean, ready to eat. So I'll get this one out again. We'll go back to that. Nice little area there where all that little fibrous stuff is. Get down just below that, poke it in deep. and it'll all nicely come out. Sometimes not so nicely, but this one, a bit too much stuff. Get all the hairy stuff out. Do you see we lay on the table face up like that? So that they stay up. Just do this fella. Get all this hard stuff off. Okay, nice homegrown garlic there, nice and young and tender. Got a nicely just very thin slicing on it. There's two things that we can do with these artichokes that we've got currently present. These ones as they are, we can take them out now, we can put them straight on the barbie, sprinkle some oil on them, put them straight on the barbie plate and maybe five minutes on there until, and they're ready to heat, ready to uh, eat. What we do here is we're preparing these ones for the oven and all we're going to do there, we'll make them stand up, that'll just let the oil sit in them. In each one there, we'll just pop a sliver of nice homegrown garlic straight out of the garden this morning. A little bit in each one, most of those other ones have got some in. Oh, a bit extra. Never have too much garlic. 
Okay, crack line Valley Olive, Olives, just down the flat here. Extra virgin olive oil, you beaut. Just a little sprinkle. Oops, some get in, some get out, doesn't matter. Bit of rock salt, just a little bit, don't want too much. And some nice little tinderbox herbal sprinkle. If it decides to come out. Oops, there it goes. Okay, what we'll do now is we're going to put that in the oven and uh, for about 15 minutes. Ready to go straight in the oven and looking forward to sitting down to an absolute delicious globe artichoke meal this evening.